Hi guys, welcome to Public Connect Workshop. So in this video, we will learn how to integrate Typeform and Stripe. Our use case is pretty simple. When new entries is made in Typeform, it will create a customer in Stripe. Now Typeform is an online form builder and Stripe is an online payment processing platform. So what we are going to do is, we are going to send the data from Typeform to Stripe. But there is one minor problem. The integration between Typeform and Stripe is somewhat limited. In cases like these, we need to bring a third app to connect them both. So in this video, we will use Pabli Connect to integrate Typeform and Stripe. And the best part of using Pabli Connect is, there is no need for coding skills or programming language. It can be done easily. Let me show you on my screen. Okay, so to begin the process, first type pabli.com in your browser pabli.com hover on products and you will find the option called as connect click on connect then go to sign in okay so this is the dashboard of pabli connect as you can see i already have made an account in pabli connect you can build your own account in just two minutes now here i would like to mention one more thing pabli connect offers a free plan where this integration can be tried out absolutely free so if you want, you can create your own account now and set up your own automation. The link is available in the description box. Actually, I would insist that you try this automation with me. It's actually pretty fun. So let's go to this part called as connect. Here click on access now. Now at the right corner, you will find a button called as create a workflow. Click this. Now it is asking you to give a name to this workflow. I am going to give it as type form to stripe then click on create so when you click on create a window appears in front of you it is called as the trigger window since we are interested in connecting type form to stripe in the choose app let's make it as type form this one now in the choose method there is only one trigger called as the new entry now new entry is basically a trigger so your obvious question is what is a trigger trigger is a if statement it asks a question if the condition is met what should be done for example if a new entry is made in type form then what action should be taken by the system however in case if you want more triggers of your choice other than this you can make a request to our team at admin at the rate pabli.com for the specific trigger that you want to make then click on connect with type form again click on connect with type form then scroll down and click on accept okay so it is showing the authorization is successful just click on ok now in the form it is showing three forms type form to salesforce event registration form and registration form so let me show you my type form so this is my type form and it is showing three forms also here type form to salesforce event registration form and registration form okay so i want to send the data from this form okay the registration form so let's make it as registration form now below the form you will find webhook url so this is our webhook url so your question is what is a webhook url webhook url is provided by the receiving application since public connect is going to receive the data from type form it is providing the webhook url now webhook url is basically the address where the type form is going to send the data simply put it is saying that send the data from this form to here to this address okay so now we are going to establish a connection between type form and public connect so to do that just click on save and send test request okay so it is showing that the connection has been established so basically it means that whenever the data Whenever an entry is made in type form, it will send the data to Pabli Connect. So to ensure that Pabli Connect captures this data, click on this button called as Capture Webhook Response. Okay, so it is showing it is waiting for a webhook response. So let's create an entry in type form. So this is my published form. Let's go to Hello, get in touch. So we are going to enter a name. So the name is uh, Arnie. Okay. The last name is uh, the last name. Let's make it as Roshi. Okay. The email is arni123 at the rate gmail.com. Something random that is coming to my mind. Okay. So Arni is from, let's say, Angola. Then click on submit. 
Okay, so let's see whether Pabli Connect, since it is integrated with this form, has captured this data or not. So let's go to Pabli Connect. Yes, the data has been captured. So let's scroll down and see our data. So the data is the name is Arni. We have got it. The last name is Roshi. So and the country is Angola. So now we have to create a customer from this data in Stripe. So to do that, just click on this plus button. So when you click on this plus button, another window opens up. This is called as the action window. So since we are interested in syncing this data to Stripe in the choose app, let's make it as Stripe. In the choose method, since our action is very simple that to create a customer, let's keep it as create a customer. Now there are many more actions like update a customer, create a product, cancel a subscription, create a payment method and more. However, in case if you don't find the action of your choice, you can make a request to our team at admin at the rate pabli.com to make an action for you specifically for you. Okay. So at present, we are just interested in creating a customer from this data. So let's click on connect with Stripe. In new credentials, we have a blank to fill called as the token. So to fill in the blank, let's go to our Stripe and click on developers. Here you will find the option called as API keys. Click this. Now here you will find the option called as secret key. Click this button, reveal test key and copy this and paste it here. Then click on save. Now, as you can see, a set of blanks has appeared in front of you. The purpose of this blank is very simple. We are going to create a customer with the help of this blank. We are going to map or sync in all the data that we have received from Stripe. So in the email address, we are going to map in the email address. So this button is called as the mapping button. Click this and at the top, just type email. So here is our email arni123 at the rate gmail.com. In the name, let's forget the description. In the name, let's add what was our name? The name was Arni, I guess. Arni. Yeah, we got the form response, Arni. Uh, the phone number, address line, address line two, city. No. In the description, he may add the last name. It was a Roshi, I guess. Roshi. Yeah. Click this. So in the address line one, address line two, city and the country, we don't have any data for that. Because as you may remember, Typeform had only four fields. Okay. First name, last name, email and the country. So we can't really fill all of this data. So just assume that all this data has been filled and just click on save and send test request. Okay, so the API response is showing that the data has been sent to Stripe. So let's see our Stripe account in the customers whether we have a person called as Arne. Yes, there is an email called as arne123 at the rate gmail.com and the Last name as it is showing as description as Roshi. The presence of this customer shows that we have connected Stripe and Typeform with help of Pabli Connect. This means anytime an entry is made in Typeform, it will create a subscriber or a customer in Stripe. But to double check it if the integration is working fine or not, let's make one more entry in Typeform. But before that, before that, let me show you the gist of the whole process. So let's go up and let's minimize this action window. And let's minimize this trigger window. Okay, so basically this is the whole process in a nutshell. First you integrated Typeform to Pabli Connect. Then you integrated Pabli Connect to Stripe. So now there is a perfect flow of data between Typeform and Stripe. So let's make one more entry in Typeform. So get in touch. So the name of the person is let's say Clarky. Okay. The last name is Kenty. Okay. Superman123 word at the rate gmail.com. And the clerk key is from let's say, let's say, let's say Bangladesh. Okay. That would do. Then click on submit. So let's see whether we have a customer called as Clarky in Stripe. So let's refresh this. Yes, uh, there is an email superman123 word at the rate gmail.com and the last name is Kenty. So our integration is working absolutely fine. So this means anytime an entry is made in type form, it will create a customer in Stripe. Not just these two apps, you can integrate a plenty of applications using Pabli Connect. If you have any queries, contact us at admin at the rate 
Our dedicated team members will help you to automate your workflows. Or just visit us at www.pabli.com. It's awesome. Thanks.